dubious AI-generated health channels are making millions of dollars of your time. They use proven tricks, clickable thumbnails, misleading and outright false health information, false promises and simple yet miraculous cures that are useless at best. If you are unlucky, health advice from these channels can be harmful and sometimes even dangerous. These channels are flooding YouTube right now. Their creators have no medical background. They don't even care about medicine. What they care about is money. They do what it takes to become monetized quickly. Sadly, many viewers on YouTube are falling for it. People think YouTube is for free. I am afraid that's not true. On YouTube, you pay with your time. And when it comes to these channels, it could cost you double. Because with these channels, you're not just losing time, you could be losing your health too. As a board-certified urologist and sexologist, I see the impact of this misinformation firsthand. Men who have ruined their erections with jelking. And lately, even a case of late-stage cancer caused by falling for herbal charlatans. In this video, it's time to separate fact from fiction. I'm going to debunk some of the most common urology myths on YouTube and give you the real, science-backed advice you need. Myth number one. Benign prostatic enlargement is the result of a swelling of the prostate. False. Benign prostatic enlargement happens because the prostate starts to grow. Now let's tackle another common misconception about prostate health. An enlarged prostate compresses the urethra. This information has been outdated for over 25 years. There is only a weak correlation between prostate size and urinary bother. In a landmark study, only 37% of men with significant prostate enlargement had severe symptoms. This refers to the tightening of muscles in these areas, which contributes to urination problems and it's not necessarily connected to prostate size. Plus, there are a lot of other possible reasons for urination problems, such as diabetes. Myth number three. Drinks and foods can shrink your prostate. Certainly not. This is a frequently seen claim and it's outright false. So drink hibiscus tea or green tea or pomegranate juice or chamomile tea if you like the taste, but not for making your prostate smaller. The claim that hibiscus tea fights prostate cancer is outright false and dangerous advice. Myth number four. Massaging your testicles increases your testosterone levels. Did you ever fall for this one? I don't think so. Myth number five. Eating a banana with cinnamon each night will give you better erections. Okay, maybe it will give you sweet dreams of having the best erections of your life. I don't know but definitely it will not increase your erectile ability. If it helps, you know that the problem with your erections was a mental one and that you solved that blockage by believing bananas would help. I could go on forever. The problem with this kind of advice is that it exploits many people's longing for simple solutions. This can be dangerous. Medicine is not that simple. Biology is complicated. We are far from understanding how the processes in the body work together. I mean, this year's Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded for the discovery of microRNA. That was in 1993, which is not so long ago. We still discover new biological functions of the human body. So there is no easy solution in the sense that doctors withhold from you the simple truth because they want to make you sick so they can rip you off. Misinformation is harmful because it may delay proper treatment of a disease. If you rely on self-diagnosis and follow advice from AI-generated video on the internet, you may end up with worsened health outcomes. So go to your doctor and get a diagnosis if you have health problems. Don't assume your prostate is the problem for your urgency and wait and drink some sort of herbal tea. It might as well be a urinary tract infection, residual urine, or maybe even bladder cancer. Self-treatment may be harmful, 
because it may delay proper diagnosis. Just because something is herbal doesn't mean it is completely risk-free. Many herbal remedies can give you side effects or interact with your current medication. Finally, misleading claims give people false hope about easy cures for complex problems. This false hope can be devastating. People waste time, money and effort on treatments that don't work, leading to frustration and a loss of trust in real healthcare solutions. Again, you risk your health in believing unreliable sources. Did you know that YouTube has started to label credible health information by certifying content creators who are accredited doctors in their respective country? Look for this label underneath the video so you can be sure this content is by someone who knows what they are talking about. Please share this video with your friends and family to raise awareness of this actual issue. Your health isn't something to leave in the hands of misinformation. Stick to reliable, evidence-based advice. Your body will thank you for it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.